The mad scientist from the Dodge department has decided to give the jailbreak to the SRT Hellcat, which just goes crazy with performance. You can get up to 807 horsepower underneath the hood of these Challengers. Furman Dodge of Wesley Chapel has given us the 2023 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat jailbreak in pitch black with premium Laguna red interior. What you'll notice is on the front, the dual scoop hood sets the appearance for the iconic style and to breathe for that 6.2 liter Hemi. SRT badging in front of the egg crate grille, LED daytime runnings and headlamps going underneath and you have almost 4.5 inches of clear. So you can still tackle any maneuverability, but this is really more for a straight line drag race type of vehicle. 275, 40, 20 inch, five double spoke SRT wheels with the matte black. SRT badging in red for the brake caliper that houses six pistons Brembo brakes. It's a two piece front rotor. The front disc reading at 15.4 inches. And what I've said in prior reviews, I used to own a pizzeria. We sold 14, 16, 18, and 28 inch. Just think of the size of those brakes. SRT tuned competition suspension, Bilston adaptive dampers, stiffer springs and a larger sway bar. A length at 197.5 inches, but that's gonna be that classic styling that you're getting and it comes all the way into the rear with the spoiler that brushes upwards. I don't necessarily think it's looking for any aerodynamics or anything to help with downforce because this thing is just so crazy and intense especially if you go to the red eye, which starts at 797 horsepower. Dual exhaust outlets, rear parking sensors, and a reverse camera, which I would recommend you also look when you're doing reversing because a lot of blind spots are in this area and it's a long and wide vehicle. Push here for a quick release to 16.2 cubic feet of storage, which is one of the best in class for a sports car slash supercar because of the performance. Underneath, you'll have the Harman Kardon upgraded sound system and your battery. It's a wide opening, but the entrance is about a foot inwards. This is the jailbreak. Last call. Let's go inside, start it up so you can hear that exhaust note. Now we need to go underneath the hood of this SRT Hellcat jailbreak. So you can see what that engine looks. The last call plaque that backs the performance with a supercharged 6.2 liter Hemi V8 engine producing 717 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque that's paired to an eight speed automatic transmission achieving 13 MPGs for the city, 22 MPGs for the highway. You get the plaque. Going inside the jailbreak SRT Hellcat. It's a lot to swallow because of how much performance you get and it's actually comfortable, which is not normal to have this much power underneath the hood and to actually be relaxed in the front seats. Headroom at 39.3 inches. Leg space at 42 inches. Laguna Leather 10-way power seat adjustment for the driver with two-way manual adjustment. Heated, ventilated memory for the driver. The passenger gets four-way manual adjustments with the red seat belts. Jailbreak badging on the passenger side with the flat dash and the long hood that stresses the iconic styling of the Challenger. Premium stitch work, real carbon fiber inserts, 8.4 inch touchscreen display, which is the Uconnect 4C with Sirius XM, 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, upgraded Harman Kardon 18 speakers with a subwoofer that's in the trunk, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, AM, FM, SRT configurable drive modes, SRT performance page. Put it into reverse. We have a reverse camera with trajectory underneath SRT. It'll take you right into the page so you can do all your business. The launch control, 
which will take you right here and you can adjust this to up to 25 RPM. Eight speed automatic transmission with the leather and the carbon fiber. It is a driver focused setup. Cup holders, you could probably fit about a 20 ounce and it's actually pretty soft for a sports car. Open up inside and you got two USB ports at 12 volt and the badging for the Dodge Brothers. Leather wrapped steering wheel, three spoke multi-function with the paddle shifters and the gauge cluster with the speedo that reads 200 miles per hour. You can go through an array of information for the driver to check any of the information that you need for the vehicle. If you are taking this to the track or just a daily cruise, you have the performance page also where you can do the quarter mile, you can see your G-Force, even the lap time. Driver's assist, your fuel economy, I wouldn't really look at that too much. Any messages for the vehicle and your digital speedometer. The dashboard and the door panel configure in together. And it's harder materials on the top. It's gonna to be more soft right in here where it needs to be one touch up and down for the windows and a small storage pocket with another storage pocket in the back for the back seats. Suede headliner with a sunroof. Going into the back seat, I would just remove this and you see the opening is gonna be a little tight for somebody that's six foot three or I should say me but it does power move forward. For the back seats, headroom at 37.1 inches, which you have to kind of scoot down a little bit, and 33.1 inches of legroom is gonna be tight for me, as you saw at the entrance. Two air vents, storage behind both of the front seats. Area that's pretty soft to rest your arms, otherwise it starts getting harder as it goes up the tier. Sitting into the center is actually worse. Headroom is really none because the headliner kind of bulges down because of the moonroof. Same thing with leg space. If the seats were in the position that they should be, I would not be able to sit. Feet, butt, and shoulder space is an issue. The rails are pushed back a little bit way too far to make it comfortable for three adults in the back. I'm gonna give you 717 reasons why you need to watch this video with another 656 reasons that's gonna push me back in my seat explaining it. This is the jailbreak, SRT Hellcat. This is just an iconic vehicle in general. You get the exhaust note, it's going to be just very athletic and aggressive and it should be for the performance out of the 6.2 liter V8 supercharged Hemi. And we're gonna just try to show you what we got here. Give her a little go, just a touch. That wasn't anything even crazy. Just hitting a little bit around three RPMs but you can definitely feel the performance throughout the interior of the cabin. It almost gives you that scared feel or that excitement feel, but it's kind of a blend of both because if you're taking some turns or cornering, it can be a little bit scary. But when you're going straight, this thing is just so intensified, which you're gonna see as soon as we could do a little bit of maneuverability. And again, this is just driving normal. Now, if I want to actually give it some gas, look at this. <laughs> it's insane. Now we got the six piston Brembos up front. We're gonna see how good they are. Turn radius, we don't have time for a stop point. It's gonna be about two lanes, let's rock and roll. You get up to speed so quick that you're gonna get a license suspended. You have to be careful when you have this type of variant. It's so noisy too that we have a police officer in front of us. More than likely, if I go a little too crazy, I'm gonna get pulled over just because of how loud the darn thing is. Now that's gonna take me to some things I like and dislike, and we're gonna start talking about that right now. To start off with, you get a Speedo with 200 mile per hour, and this engine is something that is a beast. When you're considering the value of what you're getting, it's a lot in the performance line. Unfortunately, when it comes to technology, a thing I dislike, no wireless charging pad, you still get an older system. This is the 4G LTE capabilities, no 5G, and this is the last year of production for this engine underneath the hood. I would have liked to see a little bit better technology for the last year, but they do give you the jailbreak. So that does kind of compensate yet again. The second thing that I like about the vehicle is this has so much room for the front occupants, for cargo, 
and it's a sports car slash supercar that's masked. You get that style that's classic, and it's a quiet drive all blended in. The last thing that I like about the vehicle is you get that performance page, which you can alter how much performance you get. So you can tune it up or you can turn it down. And when you're doing a daily drive, 500 horsepower is plenty. If you really want to give it a go on the weekend, turn it full blast, have fun, take the red key, just be cautious because there's a lot of cops in the state of Florida. Three things I dislike, you heard the first thing. The second thing that I dislike about the vehicle is you don't have full power seat adjustment for the driver passenger side. I know it sounds like I'm nitpicking, but when you're in a price point around 90 to $100,000, you're, really you're not really being nitpicky. Try to stop in the middle of the road and let's go. The last thing that I dislike about the vehicle is they put this mad scientist engine, but they didn't change any of the geometry of the vehicle to really keep the car planted. It's not necessarily the best vehicle in cornering, so it is a harder vehicle to keep straight, and anything over the SRT Hellcat starts just hopping, which I've done a review on the Red Eye, and just so much power underneath it. I like that you get the power, don't get me wrong. It's just when you start getting into that type of dynamics, you really need to put something underneath for suspension wise, besides a stiffer suspension in the sense of maybe changing and altering the whole configuration of the vehicle. What makes the Challenger so much more pleasing to drive though, is that it is uncontrollable whenever you start off with. So it gives you that fun yet uh, intense feeling all blended in. I would say be cautious with it because again, it's not a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. I will say I find myself driving this on auto through the SRT page a lot more so than driving it in sport only because as you saw, it hops quite a bit. And then you have to let off the gas pedal and it's not necessarily as fun because then if you are racing somebody, you may actually lose. And when you have anything over 700 or all the way up to 800 horsepower with the SRT Hellcat Red Eye jailbreak. I mean, it's just so much to swallow. But for an everyday drive, you can do it as long as you can afford that 13 MPGs in the city. The windscreen is very sporty and athletic. Ride comfort is good. The seats are very wide. The back seat's going to be a little bit tight, but you expect that because of the type of vehicle that you're in, and they keep all the attributes of the Challenger and bring it to a modern date. Sad to see this engine go. I'd like to thank Furman Dodge for giving us this 2023 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat jailbreak for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, I don't know what you're waiting for. Click the next video on the subscribe button. Check out the merchandise, website, Instagram. Leave a comment and a like.